What up, y'all? Mark here. And, you know, you know the drill. I feel like an old cowboy in the Western. Um, we're in here getting your stuff together. Miss Jackie says she wants four of these things. I want to make sure they're getting done. So, we are knee deep in the process of evaluating the players that we have that we want to keep, the players that we have that we need to get rid of, and players that we would like to be able to get. And we have some pieces that are pretty good. We're seeing that Randy Gregory actually had the best year of his career this past year, which is great news because he's dirt cheap right now. He is really, really cheap. And that's what you need. You need some guys that are cost effective. Now, Jerry Jones and crew said that they'd like to have Gerald McCoy back. Um, Gerald McCoy, who signed a three-year, $18 million contract with the Cowboys, but ended up getting injured and not playing it down. And the Cowboys cut him. They cut him, saving about $3 million. Basically, his deal was $6 million a year. And so they cut him, and there were no hard feelings between the two of them. He understood that was a business decision, and quite frankly, considering he only had one practice with the Cowboys, one practice, he got $3 million. I wouldn't be mad either. So Gerald McCoy, who has wanted to be a Dallas Cowboy, okay? I'm having a hard time doing this while I'm trying to talk to you. I don't know why. Gerald McCoy, who wanted to be a Dallas Cowboy, uh, who was looking forward to playing in some of those primetime games, especially Thanksgiving, in front of his family, still wants to be a Dallas Cowboy. Now, here's the interesting take on this. The Cowboys' talks on this have been tabled for the moment because there's a new voice in town, Dan Quinn. And it'll be up to Dan Quinn Boy, that's tight. <laughs> Look at that. Literally squeezing the glue out of it. That's that's ready to go. Um, it's up to Dan Quinn on who he wants to have there. I'm actually happy to hear that statement coming from the Cowboys that the coach is able to actually have input on the type of players that they want to have. Now, I read an article yesterday that kind of drove me kind of batty. And it may be just speculation on their part and not what the Cowboys think. As we're talking about players and things that we want to bring back and things, and sign. We know they're interested in bringing back Alden Smith, and I think they should bring back Alden Smith if he's willing to not break the bank. Quite frankly, he probably could get more money from any place else other than Dallas, but he may look at it and say, you know what, I'm, I'm happy being here in Dallas because they took a chance on me when others wouldn't, and this is where I want to be, and I understand that they need the money. Because in the end of the day, there are no friends when it comes to contract negotiations. doesn't matter who you are. They will cut you in a heartbeat. Des Bryant was a favorite son, but you know what? They let his ass go. And that's why I am on board with players who have worked all their life to get here, get all that they can get. I got no problem with that. Doesn't mean that it has to be on my team, but they should be able to get everything that you can get. Um, the one that I kind of say, are you kidding me? Is Tyrone Crawford. Now, don't 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 get me wrong, and don't don't send me your hate mail, okay? I like Tyrone Crawford. I got a picture with Joe Boo with Tyrone Crawford. Tyrone Crawford's gotten a couple of T-shirts years ago. 
Joe Boo t-shirts. Seriously. But he's gotten almost $20 million over the course of the last two seasons. And he's getting old. He's had double hip surgery. He had surgery again this year, this offseason. It's unfortunately that thing that happens to football players. You get old and it's time to move on. It's just the reality of it. So people are saying, well, that the Cowboys have a decision to make about Tyrone Crawford because of his leadership ability. Okay, then make him an assistant coach. Okay, if, if you need leadership, make him an assistant coach. But you ain't paying him money like you just did. Sorry. You just are not. And hopefully that's a decision, too, that Dan Quinn gets to make because, sorry. I love you, bro, but if you could say goodbye to Dez, then you can certainly say goodbye to Tyrone Crawford. Um, I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to give you trolls a chance to get your answers together. I don't know if I'll do it as a live stream or do it as another video, but here's what's, what's so funny to me. When I talk about paying Dak and hurrying up and getting it done and all that, you know, the trolls go through and say, you know, it's a mistake, and so far, that's not the right thing to do. Huh? Well, no. I, I, what we, I, we, we already know what the Jones is going to do. They're going to wait till last minute. Yeah, but like, it's going to cost them. I keep telling you, hey, it's hey, going to hey, cost hey. you more money. Well, what happened with V-Law? So it's going to cost you more money. It's how the devil will give the franchise pay. Okay, so. You know, you know the Joneses aren't in a hurry to pay no right? No, not that. But what? But they were in a hurry to pay B law, and they weren't in a hurry to pay Z when he was demanding his money. They weren't in a hurry. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Jalen Smith, that's their store because they paid that man. Are you out? Like Monte Davis? Yes, I need to get out there before the traffic. All right, Mike's out like Monte Davis. He's going out there to do. I got at least do ten deliveries. I'm trying to get that His afternoon day job. You're leaving me with all the rack, 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 racks. Okay. So here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. I want you trolls to start thinking about this, okay? I want you to start thinking about, if not Dak, if your thing is let Dak walk or whatever, I want to hear a real solution that will make the Dallas Cowboys better that will save them some money and be able to get them the quarterback that they need that's as good or better than Dak Prescott and can fix the rest of the team. Because all I ever hear is, uh, no, don't pay Dak. Dak ain't it. He ain't the answer. Well, I want to hear from you guys. What the hell is the answer then? What is the answer? Since you guys say he's not the answer, since you know so much. How many times am I going to knock you that damn glue bottle over? Since you guys know so much and know what the Cowboys shouldn't do, then tell us what they should do. I give you my solutions, whether you think it's good or not. Still, my solution of what I think is the best thing for the Cowboys. Now, I want to hear what yours is. Because all I ever hear is, no, this ain't it. No, that ain't it. Dak sucks. Well, give me a damn solution then. Okay? How about doing that? We were super excited to have that opportunity. I get tired of just hearing so much hate from you guys. My knees are killing me today. Must be the rain.
The Chiefs thought they had an interception to win it, but an offside penalty neutralizes the interception. New England took advantage of another chance. In overtime, they All right, I'm going to catch you guys on the flip side. Get these filled in. Got to fill my crack. Championship. You know what? That uh, that's probably gonna get me going every single time I think about it. The Chiefs' first year starting quarterback was Peace. 